Next award category is creative industries for outstanding international success in any creative industry. To present the award is the Director International of Creative Australia, Zanib Zayed. Creative Australia is a second time silver sponsor of the Australian Export Awards. Before we welcome Zainab to the stage, and here are this year's Creative Industries finals. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, I'm thrilled to be presenting the Creative Industries Award tonight on behalf of Creative Australia. Creative Australia is the Australian government's principal investment, development, and advocacy agency for arts and culture. And we strongly believe that our creative sectors are not only dynamic export businesses, they showcase our brilliant creative cap capabilities and transform how people think and feel about Australia. So it is my great honor uh, to present the winner. And the winner of the Creative Industries Award is Rising Sun Pictures. weren't expecting this at all. Um, thank you to Austrade, thank you to uh, Senator Don Farrell, really appreciate it. Um, oh goodness, um, we weren't expecting this at all. Fellow nominees, um, especially Alt VFX, um, we love you guys up in Queensland. Um, you know, uh, we were started 29 and a half years ago and uh, I can't believe we're here today. We're currently number one in um, the use of machine learning in creative content, and that was um, because um, Adam Reid gave us a grant about five years ago to go and develop and work with machine learning scientists uh, to, to do that work. So now we're doing that with creative and technical problem solving, um, and we're, yeah, as I say, we're number one in the world in doing that. So, um, yeah, this is dedicated, this award is dedicated to our co-founder who is leaving us um, after 29 and a half years. So he can't be here tonight, but uh, it's dedicated to him, Tony Clark. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. As, uh, 1995, you're established mm -hmm. in such a tech-based industry that's constantly changing, it's, it's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. How do you keep cutting edge? Um, well, it's part of the strategy, right? So you have to look at what the customer wants and what the customer needs, and you are constantly evolving and you have to be on the tech edge and looking at techno technological problem solving. And that's why, you know, five years yeah. ago, we, we, we invested heavily in machine learning and we've got 20 machine learning developers at the moment. Wow, did, did you, da like five years ago, no one knew of NVIDIA, no one knew of AI. Well, we Any, did. Yeah, you <laughs> did, I know. So. Yeah. Is that because you built that culture of identifying what's next? Yeah, absolutely. Internally? Yeah, yeah. Our co-founder, he developed um, multiple systems um, that are used uh, industry-wide. So he was really known for that and he embedded that culture inside of RSP. Wow, it is a great story. Yeah. Global leader, number one in machine learning. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank Congratulations. You.